you ever had someone can't open are you from your closed guard? Well, this is my professor Brian and he shared with me some techniques that have really helped out, especially for a smaller player. So we're gonna share that with you today. Let's start from the closed guard. And right here. <laughs> Alright, so panic attack over. <laughs> what happens is they start coming in and they grab the head, elbows around the chest, and it hyperextends my, my spine right here, which can be very dangerous. It can cause a lot of pain, a lot of damage that can last for, for a long time. So we're gonna start with something that's really, really, really helpful here. He starts to set this up right here. And first things first, strong neck. <laughs> I know you can't really see me right here, but you're gonna have a strong neck. Now I'm gonna isolate an arm, okay? Now. When I isolate the arm, I'm gonna go over and under, and I wanna to start to push. They're gonna be stubborn. They're gonna be holding on tight and trying to curl you in. So I'm gonna push, now I'm gonna open my legs, and I'm gonna turn from my arm bar right here. So you've got this arm bar, and if you want, you have a shot at this yeah. arm bar as well, sorry. Yeah. So that one, one more time, he starts to grab. I'm gonna go over and under, and I'm really flexing my neck to protect my spine. It is so important to not chill and kind of go with the flow here. This is something you want to fight. So I'm over and under, I'm creating a good frame. Now I open my legs and I'm gonna turn. So I swing right here. Right here I've got a beautiful arm bar. I have a second arm bar right here. Feet being crossed won't matter. So the second one is, it's, it's a little bit funky, but it's a good one to have just in case you're not finding that angle for the first one. So he starts to reach in, he grabs. Right away, I'm gonna go genie defense, that's how I think about it. I dream of genie. So I bring my elbows, or my arms over, and I grab my elbows, and I squeeze, and I use my legs to go flat as a board. So I'm really stiff here. But I have a little surprise. So. From here, I can open, jump, and now I have a double arm bar. So um, let's get this way just a tiny bit. So this one, you might not get the double arm bar, but you can definitely use this to kind of clear this bad position. So he goes to grab, boom. So I'm gonna come over over the top just like this, pinning his elbows to me, but I don't wanna stay here. I'm gonna use my legs and I wanna extend, getting my neck away from trouble. Now, I have just like a little split second here where I can jump the shoulders right here for a double arm bar. Um, one thing to, to remember is it's very important to practice uh, neck strength. Um, so when you're doing your warm-ups, these have a purpose. These have a purpose. It's so important to have a very strong neck and to protect it um, with everything you've got in these types of situations. So a quick review. He's going to come in and I'm going to pick my side. I want to flex my neck. I want to create some space. I'm going to open my legs and I'm going to swing. And it's easier than it looks because they're gonna be pushing forward. They're gonna be helping you get this beautiful pocket right here. The second one I love because it's, it's so simple, but it's, it's brilliant. Two arms right over here and I use my legs. My legs are strong, way stronger than my neck. Now I have just a chance here, hop over the shoulders, trap. Thumbs are up, Woo. double arm bar. So these strategies are really, really helpful for um, smaller people, well, any size, really dealing with the can opener from the closed guard. I hope this helps you guys out. I really enjoy sharing these technique, techniques with you. Um, these all come from my professor, so thank you so much. See you next time.